What's up? This is Andrew Collinsworth, and you are listening to the very first episode of the Don't Cross This Line podcast. And you know, the first episode, we really have to set it off with a badass guest. Today, we're going to be talking to Demetrius Spencer, rapper, backyard wrestler, drag queen, tattoo artist, the list just goes on and on. This guy is into everything, a true renaissance man. And I don't think he'd ever been on a podcast, so it was a little shaky at first, but we got on to the tracks. I think we had a nice little talk, a great way to start the podcast with the very first episode. Take a listen and enjoy Demetrius Spencer. Hello, Misa. Hey, what's up? How you doing, Demetrius? Oh, uh, yeah. Is this the great Misa? Goddamn. <laughs> yeah, it is. Hey, I just okay. want to thank, but first off, I just want to thank you for being the very first guest on my podcast, the Don't Cross This Line podcast. How's it feel to be the first guest? Um, good, I guess. Uh, what's going on? Have you ever been on a podcast before, Demetrius? Um, uh, no. Well, we're on live on the Don't Cross This Line podcast at this very second. Okay, that's that's worse. Well, first off, G, I know you have a lot of names. Go through some of the aliases you have. I know you've been around for a long time in various crafts and arts. Tell us some of your names you got. Like stage name personas or shit that people gave me around the hood. Any of them. Let's see. Let's let's list them out for the people. Um, you talk no. Um, you talking about like wrestling wise, right? Just all your personas, all your different egos, alter egos you have. Okay, yeah, well, in wrestling, it's Samurai Kush. Samurai like the ninja. Kush like my favorite fucking weed. Um, G.G. Allen Jr. because of my attitude and my tattoos. Um, well, I don't know, bro. I'm just trying to think. I'm high as fuck, dude. You have to call me when I'm in a K-hole. Well, what about your uh, your rap career? I know you have a lot of aliases in that, too. Um, yeah. Hell of Yellow 420. Um... Second, second. Oh yeah, well, Mi- well, when I started rapping, that's what it was. Yeah, Mr. Sick, Mr. Slug. So yeah. to talk about uh, how long have you been rapping? Have you? How long have you been uh, in the rap game? Two thousand three. Two thousand three. That's 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 longer than most people have been alive. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Wow. So so let me let me go through some of your accolades and uh, you you're kind of a uh, um. I'm a jack of many trades. Uh, backyard wrestler. Yeah. Uh, MC rapper. Yeah, I like the freestyle. You tattoo know, having... tattoo artist. Yeah. Uh, drag queen? Could I say that? Uh, yeah, I guess is what you consider it. But uh, when I talk, people run because it looks more like Marilyn Manson instead of wallpaper. Who's Who's wallpaper? Wallpaper is uh, a club kid from back in the day. Yeah, let's talk about the club kids, how much of an influence they had on you. Talk about Michael Alec and what he means to you. Oh, uh, yeah, Michael Alec saved my life, man. And uh, because of Michael Alec, um, I like to do uh, ketamine and hydrocodone and smoking with weed, and that's part of the purpose of me making Sack and Appeal. And you dress up and you and you have fun and uh, you, you, you uh, have clubs bring you in to uh, pull people? Yeah. Mainly uh, rodeos change, uh, just design your hair in re- like real weird ways, and people will like it for some reason. Wow. And uh, let's, let's go back to wrestling. So you've powerbombed crackheads. Let's talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, uh, he said he wanted to train to become a wrestler, and I was like, okay, I'm going to show you some of my uh, trades. And uh, this is when we had the 20 by 20 back in the mid-'90s. And um Straight, well, I don't know if you remember Straight Jacket was uh, my tag partner. And, Legendary uh, backyard wrestler, Straight Jacket? Yeah, Straight Jacket started wrestling when I did. And, uh, well, um, talk, talk, talk about some of the what, – what are some of the gnarliest things you've done in the backyard wrestling ring? Uh, powerbomb off the roof through a coffee table, a glass coffee table. I ain't never doing that shit again. You, you know, I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, uh, getting my hand broke in a – Early 2000s tournament of death match. Well, we had our own. I know we bit off CZW a little bit, you know. What's but, uh, um? What's the difference between a hardcore match and death match for the wrestlers? Uh, yeah, death match wrestling is more real. Barbed wire, the tax, uh, broke glass, light bulbs, uh, the barbed wire, razor wire. Hardcore is chairs, trash cans, street sign, rubber tip barbed wire. Uh. 
I don't know, like a whole bunch of shit that, you know, like shit that hurt but don't want to fuck, you know, like fuck you up like deathmatch style. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to let you go in a minute. Before you leave, let's, uh, I want to have your take on white women and why you why you love white women so much. Well, because they look better than these snooty-ass, bald-headed black hoes, and they all got attitudes, and they need to shoot themselves. Well, what about this waterfall that I heard so much about? Who is waterfall? The waterfall that white women possess? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, because uh, who would rather fuck a peanut butter jar when you can get a whole bunch of dish soap that won't burn? Well, Demetrius, it's been great. This is actually the first ever episode of the Don't Cross the Line podcast. It's been great to have you on. You got one more thing to say to the people before we let you go. Yeah. What do you want me to tell them? What do you, anything you want to tell them, or just for the people, the listeners? Oh, I hate all of you motherfuckers. <laughs> all right, you heard it here first. Demetrius Spencer, a.k.a. D-Boss, a.k.a. G.G. Allen Jr., and the list goes on. Uh, thank you for listening to the Don't Cross the Line podcast. All right. Well, you got to hang up for me because I'm in a Mortal Kombat tournament. <laughs>